Hi, my name's Lynn Ward, I'm a children's author, and today I'd like to read another story for you. This one is called No Room for a Wombat. This was written by myself, Lynn Ward, and it was illustrated by Laurel Lehman. Let's see why there's no room for a wombat. Come in, said Wombat. I want you to see. I've, I've dug a new burrow. I'm proud as can be. Look at this new burrow. Isn't that lovely? I wonder what sort of burrow he likes. His friend's coming. It's grand, said Pilar. It's really a dream. But you know what it needs? A new colour scheme. And next thing he knew, before he could blink, he had a new shade of bubblegum pink. Nicolas there with the pink piece of material. So now all his walls and shades and everything seem to be pink. It's beautiful, said Bilby. It's terribly sweet. But you know what it needs? No, the wombat doesn't know what it needs, I don't think. It needs warmer heat. And next thing you knew, before wombat could blink, a puzzle of pipes went clunkety clink. Look at them all everywhere. All over his burrow. It's nice, said Numbat. It's quite a delight. But you know what it needs? It needs better light. And next thing he knew, before he could blink, a load of new lamps were flashing in sync. Then Platypus said, I like it a lot. But you know what it needs? Plants in a pot. And next thing he knew, before he could blink, There were vases and ferns and his house seemed to shrink. This poor wombat. Oh my goodness, he looks a bit claustrophobic, doesn't it? Oh, I don't think wombat's happy. It started to yell. I like my house cool and a little bit dim. I like it plant free, not fall to the brim. I thought it was perfect without a pink wall. This house doesn't feel like my house at all. He's really upset, isn't he? I think his friends feel really bad now. They were putting everything they wanted into Wombat's house, weren't they? So next thing he knew, before he could blink, they turned his house back in less than a twink, to the cold and the dark and the oodles of space that made Wombat's home his own special place. We don't all like the same things, do we? And that's fine. So we shouldn't be telling everybody else what they should like, should we? I think Wombat's very, very happy now. I hope you liked that story and I hope you'll tune in again.